Thank you for coming back so soon for segment 2 of lecture 7. Here we're going to solve example 2-4 where we're going to compare CSTR to plaque flow reactors sizes. Okay, example 2-4 comparing CSTR and plaque flow reactor sizes. For the previous example, graphically compare the volumes of a CSTR and plaque flow reactor required for the same job, meaning to, to achieve the same conversion. Okay, that's easy. What else we need to do? We need to also uh, plot minus RA versus X. Okay, we'll do this later. But first, let's compare the volumes graphically. For a CSTR, we know that the volume is represented by the area of a rectangle, right? While the volume of a plaque flow reactor is represented by the area under the curve of FA0 over minus RA when plotted versus X. Okay, so here we go. This is the volume of a CSTR, right? Remember, Shabab, we achieving 0.8 conversion, right? Okay. And the volume of plug flow reactor is represented by this area. Okay. And here, this area is showing the difference between these two volumes. So obviously, obviously the volume of a plug flow reactor is much smaller than the volume, the required volume for a CSTR to do the same job. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's plot minus RA versus X. Well, we had from that table, we had the value of minus RA versus different values of X, right? And here we plot it. Okay, as you can see, as the conversion increases, as the reaction progresses, the conversion increases, the rate of reaction, the rate of reaction decreases, basically because the concentration of the reactant A is decreasing. Okay, so the rate of reaction is maximum when the concentration is maximum, meaning no conversion, while when after 80% conversion, where the concentration is at its minimum value, the rate of reaction is also at its minimum value. Okay, for isothermal reactions greater than zero order, meaning basically for reactions which its rates are a function of concentration okay that's basically what it means so for isothermal for isothermal we care about now concentrating on isothermal reactions for isothermal reactions usually the volume of CSTR is greater than the volume of plug flow reactor for the same conversion and same reaction condition why is that why is that hmm any guess well to make your life easy and you recall always what is most important in this course let's look at this guy i'm familiar that you're i'm sure that you're familiar with this guy right and he appears in a movie or a trilogy actually three movies the man with no name okay so finally he decided that he wants a name so he called himself reaction engineering. So reaction engineering is my name. Reaction rate is my game. Okay, so what's the game here? The game here is the reaction rate. So everything, when we talk about design, we talk about different phenomena in the reactor, we talk about design of reactor. The name of the game is reaction rate. So we should always look at the reaction rate. By the way, thank you for... Arabica that I took this drawing from. Okay, so let's apply. Let's look at the reaction rate. Okay, so this is X 
versus the reaction rate and want to use this to explain why the volume of the plug flow reactor why the required volume of a plug flow reactor is much less than that of a CSTR although they are doing the same job although both are having a conversion or enabling me to achieve a conversion of 80% okay remember this plot which we was minus RA versus V okay here the rate of reaction was maximum at the beginning okay the rate of reaction was maximum at the beginning where the concentration was CA0 was maximum right and then slowly gradually the rate of reaction decreased okay to the lowest value here which is 0 0.05 mole per cubic meter per second okay so the rate of reaction here starts high and then gradually decreases as we can see here you can compare it to the CSTR so here let's look again inside the plug flow reactor the conversion varies from 0 to 0.8 the rate of reaction also varies or decreases gradually from 0.45 to 0.05 mole per cubic meter per second let's compare to a CSTR let's compare to the CSTR okay the CSTR here what's the concentration here well the concentration here is CA right which represents the conversion of 0.8 okay which represents the conversion of 0.8 so here you have CA naught and all of a sudden here at the exit you have CA okay which is much lower okay so CA not is greater or let's say greater خلاص, greater than CA or C is lower than C A not okay so here it is operated at the lowest concentration okay which is C A why lowest concentration because I have 80% of A is gone it's converted so only 20% okay so it's very much safe if this was yani, at constant uh, volumetric flow rate uh, it's safe to say C A equals 0.2 CA naught. Of course, if the volumetric flow rate at the entrance equals the volumetric flow rate at the exit. Okay. So you can see that the concentration is very low. That means that means the rate of reaction is is the lowest rate of reaction. So here the rate of reaction here is 0 0.05 because the conversion is 0 0.8. So it's not like the plug flow reactor where the conversion is zero. The conversion is zero right and gradually the concentrate the conversion is increasing and gradually gradually the rate of reaction is decreasing here right away inside the reactor you have only one concentration one representing one conversion right uh, which is one rate of reaction one rate of reaction corresponding to the exit conversion okay that is here so now let's compare the rate of fraction here the CSTR okay the CSTR and this is the plug flow reactor this is the CSTR this is the plug flow reactor so in the plug flow reactor the concentration at the beginning of the reactor is very high and as we go down the length of the reactor the conversion increases gradually the concentration decreases gradually which affects the rate of reaction in which it decreases gradually so it operates at the maximum point at the beginning and gradually decreases to the minimum point at the exit okay so Let's compare this to the CSTR. The CSTR is operated at the lowest rate of reaction compared to the plug flow reactor, where it's operating at higher reaction rates because start at the highest value and gradually decreases. So, since the plug flow reactor is operating at higher rates of reaction compared to the CSTR therefore it the plug flow reactor requires less 
volume compared to CSTR because the volume is inversely proportional to the rate, as we said earlier. Okay, great. So, for isothermal reactions greater than zero order, the CSTR volume will usually be greater than the plug flow reactor volume for the same conversion and reaction conditions. That is because the CSTR is always operating at the lowest concentration and therefore lowest rate of reaction. The plug flow reactor, on the other hand, starts at high concentration and rate. Of course, higher concentration means higher high rate at the entrance and gradually decreases to the lowest values at the exit. Thereby, plug flow reactor requires less volume because the volume is inversely proportional to the rate. Okay, so remember that, Shabab. Okay, you can always explain what's going on in the design of the reactor design by looking at the rate because it's a rate-based design. Unlike the other courses that you do the design using thermodynamics and efficiencies and some experiences, okay, some rule of thumb in order to design. For example, for the pump, you use the first law of thermodynamics to find the pump capacity and then you uh, estimate the efficiency and then you divide that number by the efficiency to get the actual capacity of the pump. Another example was the separation and the separation one course or uh, I think separation two and separation course usually when you're designing the uh, distillation column with different stages okay that's equilibrium stages the number you calculate the number of stages here also you use the equilibrium and you say well in every stage I reach 90% of the equilibrium therefore I need this much stage stages to achieve uh, the separation and from your experience uh, with the distance between each uh, stage, each tray, for example, you get to design the, uh, the column. And of course, later on, you need some information about the hydraulics of the column. Okay, so in the past two, uh, previous two examples, the uh, design for the distillation column, where you have equilibrium in each stage and the pump, here we use the knowledge of thermodynamics. But here in this course, in the reactor design course, and also in the heat transfer course, the design is based on rate. The faster the rate, the smaller the equipment. The slower the rate is, the larger the required volume or the larger the equipment is. Okay, so that's our conclusion for the isothermal reactions. Okay, however, for autocatalytic reactions, autocatalytic reactions means that reactions which produces a product and the product acts as a catalyst or product inhibited catalyst here the product actually inhibits the rate of reaction and non-isothermal exothermic reactions okay so now the temperature is not constant these trends will not always be the case as can be seen in chapters 7 and 8 later on Okay, so with this, we finish lecture 7 and we'll meet again in lecture 8. Bye for now.